Oh, hell yeah. Welcome to Stop Crying Poser, the greatest podcast known to man. We start every episode out by shouting out whoever the fuck I feel like shouting out. OG Mickey, Lish Lish, Sharky Genie, VL Scoot, Notorious DQ, Blitzed Will, Little Big Turtle, Sheik, Ninja, Flawless Rhyme, and more. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like I say this every other podcast, but I don't want to fucking be here. I don't want to be doing this podcast right now. I have a headache. My computer's not fucking working right. There's no news whatsoever. The news stories that we're going to read today took me about a half hour to find, and they're all straight fucking trash. Trash news articles for a trash podcast and some trash viewers like yourselves. So go ahead and pat yourselves on the back. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are about to receive all the gifts that you deserve, and even some of the gifts that you don't deserve. And hopefully you're going to be nice to your neighbors and friends and get them gifts. Speaking of that, I haven't gotten Asian John a gift yet. I haven't gotten my grandpa a gift. I kind of got Lily a gift, but it's in the mail somewhere. So I'm going to be completely fucked on Christmas, which, uh, you know what? Maybe that's exactly what I deserve, huh? Maybe, Randers. Maybe. Let's jump into the news. Okay, here's a here's a really <laughs> really important news article. How to stay safe while out holiday shopping. Oh man, fucking listen up ladies. As we get closer to Christmas, many are still looking for that last minute perfect gift. Yeah, sure. Internet, I sure the fuck am. However, all that holiday shopping could be making you a victim, a target for criminals sexually. Some criminals are hoping their victims will have extra spending money or gifts in the backseat of their car. <laughs> nope. Not me. Kimmy Monaco with Battleborn Krav Maga. That's <laughs> not <laughs> not Kimmy. Not the great Kimmy, the fucking diamond cutter Monaco from Battleborn Krav Maga says your best defense is a good offense. Oh, okay, cool. Interesting. I watched Dragon Ball Z, too. I'm sure they say all that dumbass shit. Like, no fucking shit. She says, Don't get confused with the happy holiday spirit and not think this is a time when there are predators out there and people with bad intentions. Hiya! Better watch your fucking back. Here are some ways you can stay safe this holiday season. If you must, <laughs> if you must shop at night, remember, if you must, okay, we recommend not shopping at night, but if you must, park in a well-lit area, because when bad guys hit the sunlight, or the, or like any type of light, electronic light, light bulb light, fluorescent light, when criminals touch light, they turn into sand. And I feel like everyone should know this, but throughout generations, we've forgotten that that's what happens when criminals touch light. If you must shop at night, park in a well-lit area. Don't leave packages or gifts on the seat of your car. Lock them in the trunk so they're out of view. Pretty good. Oh, rule number three. Feel free to ask mall security, Paul Blart to escort you back to your car. I'm only going to ask mall security to escort me back to my car if I can get a ride on the back of Paul Blart's fucking hoverboard. That's the only way I'm doing it. Other than that, I'm safe, dude. All fucking mall security is going to do is bring attention to me. They're going to think, oh, damn, this guy's got something valuable. Follow me home. Wait until all the lights are off because, again, criminals can't touch light. Break into my house and fucking rape me. Like I've never been raped before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so yeah that's the fucking that's article number one by the way guys this is going to be the uh the tone for the entire podcast like i said i don't want to fucking be here I'm not in the mood for this shit and uh that's what we're doing <laughs> las vegas man dies after being hit by car while jaywalking near twain and swenson you guys know my uh my thoughts on jaywalking you're taking a risk every time you jaywalk, okay? Look left, look right, no cars, it's good. Other than that, dude, hey, if he dies, he dies. Authorities say 
A Las Vegas man has died after being hit by a car. Las Vegas police say the incident happened to blah, blah, blah. Swenson and Twain is nothing but fucking crackheads and tweakers anyways, if anyone wants to know the Las Vegas geography. According to investigators, the 60-year-old man was crossing the street outside of a marked crosswalk. He was hit by a Chevrolet Cavalier and thrown onto the roadway. Paramedics transported him to Sunrise Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The 23-year-old female driver stated at the scene, stated, oh my motherfucking God, these the 23-year-old female driver stated, stated at the scene and showed no signs of impairment. Gabriella, this is a whole different website. Who wrote this? No name, huh? Let's go to the bottom. No fucking name on this article. The Associated Press. I believe the word they were looking for was stayed. I think it was going to be stayed at the scene, but it's stated. Stated. The 23... What? It, it... Oh, my God. We can... We can fly to the moon. We can have fucking satellites. I can... I can watch pornography from my cell phone, but we still don't have a working fucking spell check for the for the people whose only job it is is to write words. The 23-year-old female driver standed at the scene and showed no signs of impairment. The incident remains under investigation. Las Vegas police say the death brings the total number of traffic-related fatalities this year to 133. I feel bad for this guy, and it sucks that he was old, but uh, it's jaywalking, man. Can't be out jaywalking. You guys know one of my greatest pet peeves, the number one thing that trumps all other pet peeves in the entire fucking world. Like, greater than anything. I'd rather people be racist homophobes. I'd rather be surrounded by racist homophobes than be next to someone who walks slowly in the crosswalk. Now, the cool thing about jaywalking is a lot of times there's a little bit of hustle, okay? Because you're committing a crime. Oh, shit. We better fucking get across the street before the fucking paddy wagon shows up and locks us away. But when people are in the crosswalk, here's what it is in my neighborhood. People cross the crosswalk and then they walk fucking, they walk as slow as humanly possible. And then they stare at you while they're walking slow. And if you're lucky, they'll throw a gang sign at you. Because here's what it is. It's this thing where I feel like everyone is, here's what I think. I think that people are so mad that they have to walk that they want everyone around them to suffer. So they look at you and they go, oh, wow, you have a car? <laughs> Watch this asshole walk slow. It's like this weird jealousy thing, but it's not jealousy. It's like if I have to, if I have to be slow, you have to be slow. But then on my side of the argument, it's like, hey, it's not my fucking fault. You have nowhere to go. You could have stayed home. If, if no one's going to miss you and you have no money to make, and there's no fucking store you need to be at, your kids don't need any food, you don't need to be at work on any specific time, then why the fuck are you out bullshitting under a crosswalk? You could be at home watching sports. Why are you outdoors right now catching some vitamin D from the sun? Because you don't need to do that in a crosswalk. You could do it fucking anywhere. So the jaywalkers, you know what? I'm going to change my, change my tune right now. I actually feel really bad for this guy jaywalking. Then again, may, here's one of the things you can't do. You can't, you can't take a crosswalk mentality to a jaywalking situation. You can't do that. You start jaywalking slow as fuck, you die. You're dead. It's just the way it goes. It's like, it's like you throw somebody into a den of lions. Hey, don't be mad at the lions for eating them. Shouldn't have been in there. Remember Harambe? Life don't work like Harambe did. Harambe got the shit end of the stick back then. R.I.P. Harambe. In life, Harambe wins 99 times out of, out of 100. Harambe will fuck your dumbass little kid up. And that's what, that's what it is when you take a crosswalk mentality to a jaywalk situation. R.I.P. Harambe. Uh, <laughs> next article. Oh, my God. Montana man shoots at guy he thinks is Bigfoot. Now, just reading this, 
Huffington Post. This this article is from Huffington Post. The headline just reads weird to me, right? Montana man shoots at guy he thinks is Bigfoot. I feel like they could have phrased this any number of ways that would have been better. Uh, man almost shot because Hunter thought he was Bigfoot. You know, like maybe maybe use some words that aren't man and guy. Montana man, Montana man shoots at guy he thinks is Bigfoot. Am I the only one that just thinks this doesn't read like a news article? VL Scoot, some guy shoots at some other guy. Gabriella. <laughs> oh my God, it's who writes this shit? Trash, garbage. A Montana man who thought he was shooting at Bigfoot on Sunday ended up making a big mistake. The supposed Sasquatch was actually a fellow human setting up targets to shoot in a forest area near Helena. The 27-year-old victim. Okay. <laughs> uh, whatever. The 27-year-old victim narrowly avoided death when one bullet hit three feet to his left. So here's my thing. If he didn't get shot, he's not a victim. He's just a guy that got lucky. You're only a victim when something bad happens to you, right? You can't be a victim. You would be like almost victim. You know what I mean? Like could have been a victim. Wasn't a victim. What's he a victim of? A victim of fucking Sasquatch? The Sam Squatch? The 27-year-old victim. The 27-year-old survivor narrowly avoided death when one bullet hit three feet to his left. Another bullet whizzed by him on the right. All right, here. All right. Now, <laughs> here's my thing. I want to know how far away he was because if I'm shooting some shit, I'm shooting it. I think this was some weird shit where somebody was yelling dance. Somebody out here was just yelling dance. And this guy's like, oh, shit, run away. One of those weird things. Police say the victim. Oh, no, excuse me. Police say the survivor. Tried to avoid more gunfire by running into the trees before he was able to confront his shooter, a man in a black Ford F-150. A goddamn bro. Sorry, bro. Thought you were Bigfoot, dude. Fuck, how the fuck was that supposed to know? The alleged shooter reportedly told the victim, Oh, I thought you were Bigfoot. Lewis and Clark County. Lewis and Clark County? That's funny because here in Las Vegas, our shit is called Clark County. So they got Lewis and Clark County. We got the, oh, we're only half the county. Lewis and Clark County Sheriff Leo Dutton told the paper. The victim added that the suspect told him, I don't target practice, but if I see something looks like Bigfoot, I just shoot at it. Well, you know what? Godspeed. You know what? That should have been my senior quote. That should be in my yearbook. I don't target practice. Like, no shit, you don't target practice. You also can't, sh can't shoot nobody. But if I see something look like Bigfoot, I just shoot at it. The alleged shooter then reportedly told his victim to wear orange if he didn't want to be confused with Bigfoot. Bigfoot doesn't wear orange, okay? Little known fact about Bigfoot. He would never wear orange. Here's my thing. The guy that was getting shot at was setting up targets. Why the fuck didn't he start shooting back? One thing Bigfoot rarely ever does, in my experience, is shoot back. I was shooting at Bigfoot. That son of a bitch started shooting back at me. Huh. Plum crazy thing I ever seen. I was confused. Because Bigfoot can't shoot, but... The guy wasn't wearing orange, so he definitely was Bigfoot. So Bigfoot was out there contradicting himself. You know, I don't understand it. So I just start shooting in my F-150 truck. Yeehaw! <laughs> OG Mickey said, why do you want to shoot Bigfoot so bad? I don't I don't understand why. Why do you want to shoot Bigfoot, man? What did Bigfoot do to you? Except he, had, he had big feet? You're afraid of people that are different? I don't like the three things I don't like is fucking Mexicans, gays, and big feet. <laughs> it, it seemed like a non emotional approach to something that's extremely serious, Dutton told local station. The alleged victim, excuse me, survivor, told dispatchers the incident occurred Sunday, but he didn't report it until Monday, saying, he didn't think it was necessary. 
According to the Helena Independent Record. You know what? This could all be made up. Because <laughs> this whole thing could be made up. Because they don't have... The guy that was shooting, they don't know who that guy is. Thank you, Huffington Post, for this amazing piece of science. Scientific work right here. In addition... The man, oh, I'm psychic. In addition, the man was not able to provide a description of the alleged shooter or a license plate number from the truck. Okay, now. See, now he's the alleged victim. It's like, it's like the person writing this article, like, changed their mind halfway through. Like, it says, no, it's nothing but the victim. The victim added, the suspect told him, police say the victim tried to avoid. But then later, the, the author of the article is like, the alleged victim. He's like, he, he read the article back to himself and was like, hold on, motherfucker, this don't make no sense. <laughs> you know what? It's funny, it's ironic, because now the shooter is the Bigfoot. Does he exist? I don't know. All we have is one blurry picture of him. <laughs> Deputies have not found a vehicle matching the description. They have not found a Ford F-150 yet. But, Dut <laughs> but Dutton told the Idaho... Statesman that a woman has come forward saying she too has been shot at by a man in a black F-150. Hey, hashtag me too. If you haven't been shot at by a man in a Ford F-150, well, you just ain't living, goddammit. The woman didn't mention Bigfoot, but she was able to give a description of her alleged attacker. Everything's alleged now. We're working to find the man. And then, of course, Huffington Post being the outstanding news organization it is, photo gallery, best states for Bigfoot. Any comments down here? No comments, great. Uh, in real news, look at this fucking guy. He's pretty hyped. Bump stocks are now illegal. So, that's a thing. Why isn't the NRA screaming about the bump stock ban? Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to read this article. Hold on, I'm going to find... How many fucking words is this? Okay, we're going to try to get through this. I'm going to try to fucking... I'm going to try to get through this really quickly. More than a year after the Las Vegas massacre, the deadliest modern blah, 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 the Trump administration is using existing law to ban bump stocks. If you guys aren't familiar with bump stocks, then you... Bump stocks, excuse me. Then uh, you guys haven't been watching the news at all for the past fucking... October, what was that? What, what number is with October? Is that like the eighth month? That's one thing I never learned in school is what month belongs to what number. I usually have to go through my, my fucking fingers like January, February, March, April, May, 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 whatever October is. So it's been, what, six months ago or a year ago? 2017. It's been over a year. I don't, dude, I'm so retarded. I don't fucking know anything. Or it's been less than a year. What fucking year is it? Oh, no. Oh, God. It's falling apart on stream. It's been over a year? All right. Whatever. He killed 59 people, blah, blah, blah. A bump stock replaces the fixed stock at the back of a semi-automatic rifle. As the rifle fires, the bump stock absorbs and then rebounds the recoil. Thank God that they're going to explain it correctly. Because I've seen so much retarded shit about this. Pushing the gun slightly forward. Thank you, Lily. 10. October is the 10th month. Thank God. What would I, what would I do without you? Uh, absorbs then rebounds the recoil, pushing the gun slightly forward into the shooter's otherwise immobile trigger finger, causing the gun to fire again and again and again without an additional pull, quote, of the trigger. Because a bump stock device automatically re-engages the trigger finger, ATF has concluded it is outlawed under laws dating from 1930s and 1980s, which is funny because these things have been popular for a long fucking time. And now suddenly, the ATF goes, oh yeah! Oh, yeah, now it's automatic. It's weird, though, because it probably doesn't fit the, the definition of what they would call automatic. I'm not here, like, saying everyone needs a bump stock or bump stocks are amazing or whatever. I'm just saying it's one of these little things, you know? No one ever – it's it's called uh, – we used to call it in intellectual property. We used to call it death by a thousand cuts. They're going to they're gonna take all their little, little mini steps and, you know, one thing after another, none of this, none of this, none of this. None of this, none of this, none of this. I mean, we saw it earlier this year with suppressors, right? The news calls them silencers because that sounds scarier. And it, it's just like, dude, what, what the fuck? Like, what's next? What do you want to do?
Sheik Ninja says, they only did it because no one in the gun community cares, and it's just a compromise. Well, this is what I was saying. My grandpa called me the other day, and he was like, hey, uh, just found out today the bump stocks are illegal. I wanted to make sure you didn't have any. And I was like, I don't, no, I don't fucking have a bump stock. What the fuck would I want with that shit? He's like, I just want to make sure you didn't have any, because if you did, you have like 90 days to either destroy it or turn it in or crush it or something like that. And I'm just like, I'm telling him, you know, he, he doesn't fucking care. He's just, he just called to be friendly and tell me something about the news. But I was like, hey, you know, I can bump fire a fucking, a rifle without a bump stock. And he's like, <laughs> my grandpa's like, <laughs> he gave me this tone. He was like, dude, I don't want, please don't start preaching at me. I don't fucking care. <laughs> it was like, please don't turn into some, this gun fucking rant preaching bullshit. Ah, uh, actually, one of the things I can't wait to do with my Christmas money, I'm going to buy a bunch of ammo. And I'm going to make a video. It's going to happen in the next two weeks of me bump firing the AR. But I only tried it once, and I feel like I'm pretty pretty medium at it. But imagine, like, on my third try, I'm going to have the fucking the tension just right. And I'm just going to brrrr right through that bitch. And they're going to you're gonna zoom in on my finger. And I'll be like, make this illegal. <laughs> make this finger illegal. Or something. I don't know. should do it with a tampon. To automatic tampon. I should have a tampon and just pull, like, wrap the tampon around, like, the, the fucking, the, what the fuck, dude? The fucking handle. <laughs> it's bump fire like that. Fucking banned tampons. Banned pawns. The ban, the, the legendary ban pawn of 2018. Could you one arm shoot the air? Yeah, of course. Anyways, uh, they're banning the devices roughly 90 days from now. Existing owners will not be compensated. So they bought it, and now they have to destroy it. Thank you, America. The options are melting, crushing, or shredding. Can you shoot it? <laughs> Can you grab your bump sock and fucking hang it on the wall and shoot it to death? The rule advice. With plastic bump stocks, you can use a hammer, whatever, a cost estimate, include a rule. Owners will have to destroy as many as half a million bump stocks worth approximately $100 million. These devices currently retail at prices ranging from $100 to $425. Gay LMAO says, even if you're pro or anti-gun, I think that Trump being able to ban bump stocks just like that should be concerning. I uh I agree. I think uh the shooting was terrible, but bump stocks are just like a f they're like a toy. It's like a fun toy. You want to ban something on a gun that kills a lot of people? Ban a fucking red dot. You get a red dot on your fucking AR, you're going to kill way more people than a bump stock. You know what I mean? Uh Sniff says what's wrong with banning gun shit? What's wrong with banning gun shit in this situation is there should be a process to it. And for the government to just say, hey, this is now illegal, you get no compensation, that's it. And there's no real rhyme or reason behind it. Because a logical person would look at a bump stock and say, oh, this is just this is just a toy. This doesn't really do anything. But the government says, oh, no, it, it killed a bunch of people that one time. It's out. So imagine if they did that with, like, I don't know, the internet. What if tomorrow uh, Donald Trump fucking turned the internet off? For all of America, or or made America's internet closed, closed internet like they do in fucking North Korea, just like ah, I just felt like doing it. Bang, it's done. Why? Oh, I don't know. Uh, there was a big cyber attack last year. Uh, the internet can be really dangerous. We're just gonna shut that shit completely off. Well, what do you, what do you mean? What do you, hey, it's for your own safety. Like that's the bump stock thing. What about the school shootings and shit? Bump stock has nothing to do with it. Not at all. Um, and sniff. I know. It's always going to be an agree to disagree situation, but uh, making guns illegal is not going to stop school shootings because school shootings are illegal. You make a couple things illegal doesn't make things stop happening. And we have so many guns here, more guns than anywhere on earth, that it's too late to get rid of any. You know what I mean? You can't do it. It would be like getting rid of macaroni and cheese. Like, well, there's fucking billions of fucking macaroni and cheese boxes around here. Right? How are you going to get rid of all of them? <laughs> Not the greatest example. It'd be like getting rid of leaves. It'd be like getting rid of tree leaves. Australia done it. Australia is much different. And you could, you could do that research on your own. Uh, the NRA has been atypically muted in its response to the new rule. Just like Sheik said, 
The NRA probably doesn't care because bump stocks are like just a fun, like a funny thing. Nobody gets a bump stock to be tactical. They get it to, it's like a funny thing. Oh, damn, I can go out and fucking, I can shoot kind of fast. Brrr, neat. Well, guess what? I can shoot pretty fast too. Look, watch, my finger goes really, I've played a lot of Mario 64. I can shoot pretty fast. Uh, the NRA believes that devices designed to allow semi-automatic rifles to function like fully auto automatic rifles should be subject to additional regulations. Uh, that's fair enough. On Tuesday, NRA spokesman Jennifer Baker expressed mild concern, calling the final rule disappointing and suggesting the administration should have carved out an amnesty for law-abiding Americans who relied on prior ATF determinations. Um... I think the people who bought a bump stock now, who, in their defense, didn't buy it to commit a mass shooting. They bought it because it's a fun little thing to have for your gun. Um, no one puts a bump stock on their home defense thing. They put they put it on their range rifle, and they go out, and they have fun, and they go, hey, look, look at me. That looked cool, right? Can I see the video? Sick, dude. That looked cool. No one gets those to commit fucking mass shootings, which is why, you know, you don't hear. You've only heard of the one big bump stock issue. Although now... Now that that shit's a hot commodity, you're going to see all that shit. That's just going to be in all the gangs now. Cool thing about gang members is they fucking used to not know shit about guns, and now guns are so hot, they like now these motherfuckers know what to get. And now they can get it for pennies on the dollar. Am I right? Um, It's just the, the gun owners get the shit end of the stick here because it was just some funny, weird thing that they got. Now it's illegal, and now you know it's probably a felony if you get found with one. Black market for the win. I mean, it's not... It's not necessary, right, Hammy? Like, there's no need. Like, fuck it. Break all the bump stocks. Doesn't matter. You can still kill just as many people, if not more, using anything other than a bump stock. If anything, I don't know. Bump stock worked out good for, I guess, the October 1 shooter, right? He was shooting into a crowd of people, you know, a quarter mile long, quarter mile wide. Impossible to miss. A lot of situations where that shit wouldn't have mattered. And in my, I mean, not in his defense or anything like that, but had this guy just stood up there, fucking aimed down the fucking sights and blasted into the crowd, probably would have got a couple more people. We lost, uh, I think, 58 people that day. 58 people. Fired over 1,000 rounds. Right? Isn't that, isn't that something like the story? Maybe it's 1,000? Let me Google that right quick. How many rounds fired on October 1? Uh, oh, more than 1,100 rounds were fired. 1,100 rounds. 58 people died. I mean, it's... It, the bump stock, really? The most... Like, the, the bump stock is the reason for that? If anything, the bump stock blew it. Like, the bump stock failed. It, it, it failed showing its efficiency. Right, right there. That's why the NRA doesn't care. That's why I don't fucking care. The only thing that is concerning is that Donald Trump can just, you know, one day, or, or the government, or whoever's behind it, can just one day go, hey, I don't fuck with that shit. Banned. Like, overnight. I don't fuck with that shit. Snap. Banned. It's out of there. Bye. Could be the internet. You know? Could be, could be cars. Could be different types of cars. You know what I mean? Could be weed. Could be cigarettes. Could be alcohol. Hey, a drunk guy killed a bunch of people. Alcohol. Banned. Wait a minute now. Now, wait a minute now. Nope. Don't matter. What about uh, if I was grandfathered in? Nope. What if I got some, some liquor from last week that I bought before the ban? Nope. You gotta break it. You know, if you apply this to anything other than guns, it's, it, sounds, it sounds weird. But because it's guns, everyone goes, ah, who cares? Whatever. Oh, here it is. Why is the NRA not kicking and screaming? Uh, the organization has long touted the d distinction between civilian semi-automatic rifles and military guns with fully automatic capabilities as the reason civilians should be able to own weapons like the AR-15. The sale of devices like bump stocks that put automatic fire capability in the hands of the masses had threatened to undermine decades of public marketing and court arguments. The unpleasant truth is that semi-automatic fire is more accurate than automatic fire. The military instructs soldiers use what? The military instructs soldiers use semi-automatic fire in nearly all combat scenarios. And some experts believe Paddock could have killed more people if he'd not used a bump stock to spray the concert. That's exactly 
what I just said. So, I don't know. I don't want to stand, spend too much time on this topic. You guys have my opinions, and maybe you guys have differing opinions. If you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, please let me know your opinions on this bump stock ban. Uh, I don't care about it. You know, fuck it. I don't have any. I'd be mad if I spent 400 bucks on something, and Donald Trump was like, nah, you got to break it. And it's like, I, I got to break it? What can't, can I just ship Give it, give it to China or something? Can, can I give this shit to some military kid in Africa for a little, for a little change? Why do I gotta break it? You know what I mean? Why do I gotta break it? Can you imagine like if parents did that? Let me see your cell phone. Smash! You're like, well, dude, you couldn't, you couldn't donate it or fucking give it back in a week. You just you're like, I'm not allowed to have it, so you just break it. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Jay Castile says if they want to solve most issues, people. Should have a psychiatric evaluation before allowing them to buy a gun. Well, that'd be against part of the Constitution. But if you have any type of history of mental illness, you're not allowed to have a gun. You're not allowed to buy a gun, I suppose. Most of the mass shooters passed a background check to buy the guns legally. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hammy said I donated it to build our own wall. Yeah, give it to ICE. <laughs> oh man anyways most people with bump stocks will probably keep them around after the ban yeah my grandpa asked if they track bump stocks and it's like not really the only people who can track those are each store that sold them and what that's what who cares who's gonna I don't, I don't know man then again if you get caught with that shit and it's a felony and then you lose all your guns I wouldn't I would get rid of that bitch I'd find a way to sell it sell a bitch on Craigslist uh, Montana man, Bigfoot, we already got that. Las Vegas pedestrians, we got that. How to stay safe while shopping, we got that. Uh, oh yes, Nevada tattoo artists. Win big on Ink Master. I don't know if you guys watch this show, Ink Master. It might only be a U.S. thing. I know a couple of you guys aren't from the U.S. It's the show where people do tattoos, and uh, whoever has the best tattoo wins, and it's kind of like tournament style. And then at the end of it, whoever wins gets a uh, hundred thousand dollars. And my dog, Clean Rock One, who did this Las Vegas tattoo on my, he did this tattoo on my chest. He also did my back tattoo, and uh, he does a lot of tattoos. He's a really cool guy. He was the winner, and he won one hundred thousand dollars a couple nights ago. I think it was on Wednesday night. Pretty big deal. Uh, it's a big deal for him because he's been on the show three different times and all three different times he extremely controversially lost and a couple of them were kind of suspicious losses, right? There were a couple of times where the losses were awkwardly suspicious. I think, I'm not positive, I think in one of the episodes a chick won, but part of the conspiracy as to why she won was to help push the next season's Ink Master, which was all female, which was already being filmed. And then there's more shit like that too. But uh, the guy finally won. He deserves to win. He's just a nonstop grinder. He's an inspirational guy. All he does is grind, 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 grind. If he's not doing tattoos, he's working on cars. If he's not working on cars, he's fucking, you know, fucking with his kids. If he's not fucking with his kids, he's working on some new way to build his brand or looking into some new way to grow or, or drawing or working on canvases or designing skateboards or painting cars or whatever he's doing he's always doing something doing something doing something doing something and uh it's nice to see a grinder get rewarded you know what i mean especially after having been fucked so many times in the past and uh his final tattoo was actually really dope i don't know if we can find a picture of it um ink master winning tattoo i know if you guys are listening to this you won't be able to see it but let me see if we can find the Ink Master winning tattoo. And, of course, there's not one here. Thank you, Internet. Images, please, God. Okay, this is what he did a couple years ago. And it somehow lost. And the way he did this tattoo, I'm sorry if you guys are listening and not watching. He took a, a skull, like, um, you know, one of the skull models and put an orange light inside the skull as a reference. So all this shit is like anatomically right. Every shadow in this is correct. And it's pretty dope. Pretty dope way to do a tattoo. This was not the winning tattoo, however. 
Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to find it. Uh, well, this is the internet for you. You type in something you want to find and you can't find it. Whatever. Huh? Well, you guys can find it on your own time. I'm not going to be able to fucking find it. So, it's a, a snake and a skull. And it went over this guy's entire chest, down his ribs, down to his butt. And he did it in 35 hours. It cleans a really fast tattoo guy. Really quick. So, anyways, congrats to him. And uh, in addition, fan favorite, Clean Rock 1 settled the score in his grudge match against Ink Master alumnus, alumni, alumnus, Christian Buckingham, as he finally, in capital letters, finally took home the crown of Ink Master during his fourth return to the series, this time as a coach and mentor. So good. Guy works hard, guy wins money. Happy story for all. That's all the news I have for today. I'm sorry the news fucking sucked. I didn't want to do this podcast. So I've been eating a lot of chorizo lately. If you guys watched uh, Cooking with Ninja earlier this week, we did chorizo mac and cheese. Came out amazing. I don't know if Lily is still in the chat room, but she can vouch. This shit came out bomb. And you can make it however you want. You could add the Cheeto dust. If you, if you don't want to add the Cheeto dust, you don't have to. If you don't want the green onions, you don't have to. You don't have to add the hot sauce. You don't have to add the broccoli. You can do it however the fuck you want. But I'm telling you this, chorizo and mac and cheese goes good together. God damn it. Now here's my concern. Is that I read the YouTube comments. What is, what do you gain? This is for all you non-Americans. What do non-American people gain from, from talking shit on American food? Because <laughs> at first I thought it was only one comment. Then I read two. Then I read three. And I was like, what? And one of them was like, oh, I can't believe you Americans call that cheese. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know, dude. I, yellow, fucking, it lands on the fucking macaroni. You mix it together. I call it mac and cheese. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what you're saying to me. And then they're like, one of the other ones said, you know, chorizo is only the worst part of the pig. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Have you never had a fucking chorizo taco, you idiot? We're, I'm right next to Mexico. Okay, if you build a wall, I hope at least there's a little takeout window where you can order some food. That's my only request, Donald Trump, is every, every mile, every mile you have a fucking window with a little taco shop. So I can still at least get some tacos out of those guys. Mexican food, probably my favorite food of all time. I think it's better than Italian food, better than Indian food. I hate Chinese food. I think it's better than Thai food. I think it's better than sushi. I think it's better than ramen. Oh my God, I think Mexican food is the greatest food ever. I like American food. You know, it better, I think it's better than pizza. I don't know, I'm just, I'm crazy. But that shit's bomb as fuck. And it, you can get it spicy, right? Not not a lot of fucking spicy uh, pastas out there. You might have a couple. Sometimes you'll get like some sausage pasta or something. Oh damn, we made it spicy for you. Fuck that. Mexican food, dude, they could, they could fuck your shit up. Lily says American cheese is the best kind of cheese well here's my thing who what the fuck like who since when is everyone who's not american a goddamn fucking cheese expert everyone has a goddamn masters in cheeseology all the goddamn sudden and i don't understand these youtube comments because when i go to the store and i buy the cheese i look at the, the letters c h e e s e and then i look at the price and i get the cheap one and that's it i've bought cheese I can't imagine you motherfuckers from whatever country you are coming to America just going like, uh, uh, Oh, I'm supposed to buy that? <laughs> they think that's cheese? <laughs> yeah, right. Or I don't know, like, wherever the fuck they are. What are, you, like, what are you fucking doing? Do you feel more valuable now? Just going on a YouTube video and being like, that's not real cheese. And, uh, <laughs> it's not real. You, you know that's not real cheese. And you know that, um... Uh, chorizo is the worst part of the pig, so it's not, I can't believe you Americans eat that. No wonder you're fat. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, no wonder they don't allow guns in your fucking country. Because you guys are all retarded. <laughs> everyone would just be talking shit on everyone else's gun. Oh my god, is that a, is that a bump stock? Oh my god, you think that's accurate? Hey. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> oh my god. Just weird. Just weird to me that, that that those were the YouTube comments. It couldn't have been like, oh, neat dish. I I don't like personally. It, why couldn't I get personally? I don't like chorizo, but neat idea. One guy said, uh, 
Oh, I wish I could read the comment. People, go watch that fucking video. Go watch the video. It's or and read the comments. It's like chorizo is the worst thing ever. Uh, fucking he he called he, he called Cheetos. Cheetos. He said he, Cheetos are equivalent to like packing peanuts or something. I don't know. Whatever. I don't. I don't know why I let these comments get to me. But here's the thing. I I wish I could grab that person and not not beat them up. No, this is a much less violent, much less violent thing I want to do to these these commenters. I want to fucking tie them to the fucking chair and feed them my delicious fucking creation. And then I'll then I'll know with a lie detector test fucking connected to them. They'll have a lie detector fucking connected to them. They'll eat my fucking chorizo mac and cheese with breadcrumbs. No, excuse me, with Cheeto dust on top, chorizo on top. A little bit of hot sauce, fake cheese, a little bit of extra American cheese for stringiness, green onions on top for color, and I will fucking mix it up, put it in their mouth, and I will fucking ask them with a gun to their head, is this not a very delicious meal? And if that fucking lie detector goes off, I'm killing them right there. What a great game show that would be. Anyways, so... That's that's my topic there. Uh, my favorite bar got shut down a couple days ago. And um, here's the thing. When I heard the bar got shut down, I, I figured it might have been because of, like, drugs. Because I guess there's people there who sell drugs and shit. And I figured, oh, you know what it could be? Um, they failed an inspection because it's kind of dirty. And then I thought, oh, maybe one of the bartenders wasn't licensed. Maybe they didn't have a TAM card. So I was like, oh, yeah, there's two new bartenders. I wonder if they have all their certifications. I was trying to think of all these different ways. Like, man, why uh, why would this bar get shut down? And uh, I finally found out it was because over the entire year, the entire 365 days or however long this year has been, two underage kids were caught in the bar. Or they were whatever it was. They had two infractions for underage drinking. Two infractions. For underage drinking, bars shut down for six months, lost their liquor license. Now, I thought it was ironic because they've been putting a lot of, like, priority into the drug shit. You know, they're putting up fucking cameras and shit. And uh, they're fucking, they're locking. One of the bathrooms is locked because dudes go in there together. Bunch of homos go in the bathroom all together doing fucking drugs with each other, jacking each other's fucking dicks off. And uh, it's funny to me that the the quote-unquote drug bar is... uh. <laughs> got shut down for underage drinking what a what a funny thing and it's kind of sad because it's like two old people that own it it's like this old man this old asian guy and this old asian lady and they don't they you know they're just fucking chill they just got this bar it used to be a restaurant now they just kick back at their bar and it's chill you know it's not not crazy no craziness happens there it's like they play karaoke you play pool it's kind of quiet sometimes it's nice now uh it's sad for them because both of the bartenders who got them caught were immediately fired. And both of them, when they got caught, they had only been bartending for less than like, I don't know, a couple weeks. So new bartender comes on, uh, lets an underage person drinks, gets caught, immediately gets fired. That happens twice over the entire year. Two times. And then the bar is shut down for... Fuck, dude, six months. It sucks for those people. It sucks for those, those, those sweet old people. I like those guys. Lily knows them. The owner likes Lily. She's in the chat room right now. Big shout out to Princess Schlil. Um. So yeah, that's that's something weird. Speaking of Lily, I have I have a topic right here with your name on it, Lily. It's great. This is great. I want to see if you guys have the same the same type of humor as <laughs> same type of humor as I have. Uh, so on the west side of Las Vegas, we just got a brand new Chick-fil-A and me and Lily were trying to go to it yesterday But the weird thing about Chick-fil-A is everyone here fucking loves it. It must have been 25 cars in the drive through of Chick-fil-A parking lot filled to the brim two lanes Same as In-N-Out. I do love me some In-N-Out though I don't want nobody to say In-N-Out's overhyped because it's delicious great food Um So I was telling Lily like oh, you know what? in and outs like religious or whatever, and so is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's closed on Sundays. And I was wondering if they were going to keep that going here in Las Vegas because 
I don't know. Everything's 24 hours. Why would you? Like, I can see that shit happening in Texas, you know, fucking religion over there and shit, or the Midwest, or wherever the fuck else there's Chick fil A's. But I thought Las Vegas, you know, Sin City, 24 hour city that never sleeps, city of sin. Uh, thought it would. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought reading what Flawless just wrote. Um, I thought maybe they'd make an exception for us, but they don't. So I was explaining to Lily, like, yeah, it's like religious or whatever. And then Lily goes, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Lily goes, <laughs> you know, Chick-fil-A promotes violence against gays. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's I'm thinking like, what the fuck? Like, I, I get it. Like, I, I get it. I remember reading about it like they there was something about them, you know, them and gays, something about them and gays. But for, for Lily to put the words in the correct, they promote violence. And the, the, her joke was like, oh, yeah, you fucking, you, you beat up a gay dude, you get, like, some free McNuggets or whatever. <laughs> it's just, okay, Lily, I'm not saying that you're wrong about what you're saying. Just the way that you said promotes violence, like, like, <laughs> like that shit would be on a billboard, they fucking promote. When you say promote violence, like, like <laughs> the Aryan Brotherhood promotes violence, you know what I mean? And, like, Antifa promotes violence fucking like the, promoting violence is different than just, you know just not really being fond of gays you know <laughs> like maybe they're not fond of gays being being unfond of gays is not the same thing as promoting violence against gay people <laughs> dude I, I wish you guys could have been in the car she looked at me dead serious you know they promote violence against gays <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's just funny to me, dude. Can, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine just being in there? <laughs> free nugget meal. Free nuggets. Free nuggets. <laughs> it's just funny. So I looked it up, and I guess what it was is Chick-fil-A makes really large char charitable donations to some group that doesn't support gay marriage. They, and it's not even that they don't like gays. They just don't think gays should be married. I don't know. Maybe that's the same thing. But I feel like <laughs> for you just politically saying, I don't think gays should be married, probably isn't the same as kill all homos. Probably not the same as promote promoting violence. I feel like it's slightly different than saying, I don't really think gays should marry. I think there's a difference between the two. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hey, Lily, she's she's still Lily's still like she ain't gonna change her mind. She says I literally read an article that said those words You know what? It was probably a Huffington Post article Gay guy shoots at other male man Thinking it was Bigfoot build the wall. I Don't know whatever um so we got through the podcast. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Uh, if you guys want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Ninja LV. You can also follow my YouTube, youtube.com slash ninja lifestyle. Or if I was Asian, it would be ninja lifestyle. I was in a Twitch stream the other day with this guy named Zaya. He's one of the greatest Mario 64 players of all time. But he has a really strong accent. So whenever I go in there, I'm like, hey, dude, good luck on your runs today. He goes, Ninja Rifeshire. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically me making that joke means that I promote violence against Asian people. So that was for you, Lily. Um, definitely follow me. Uh, let's shout out the follows and donations we got today. We had a huge donation from Avising. When I say huge, I just mean huge for the podcast. I think this is the biggest podcast donation. We've gotten $15 from Avising. He says, cheers. It's been a few weeks. Work has been crazy. We got about a hundred bits from Flawless Rhyme. We got a. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna say that one. We got somebody trying to troll me with one of those things where, like, you read it, but then it turns out that you're saying some gay shit. Hammy says you're racist, like PewDiePie. Dude, oh, I should have talked about that. That's a big conspiracy right now too. Um, I don't have any trivia for you guys right now oh sure i'll give you guys some trivia clean rock won he won uh the ink master finale let's be easy one clean rock one did a humongous tattoo on my back it's a very traditional 
uh, Japanese piece. You see it a lot. What tattoo? What is the tattoo called? What is the character called that Clean Rock One tattooed on my back? First person who gets that wins a free sticker pack if you live in America. Because if you don't live in America, then uh, you, you're too busy eating real cheese. And I don't want to fuck with you. God damn it. But yeah, the OG Mickey says some devil shit. Kind of. But you guys have to name, you guys have to say the actual Asian Japanese word for the character. And if we get that, you guys get one. Uh, you would. Uh, fuck it. You know what, guys? I didn't fucking have time to think of trivia. God damn it. Shikne just has Mario. No, I do have a, a Mario. <laughs> OG Mickey says Kamikaze. Good guess. Great guess. But, uh, see, so yeah, if nobody gets that, I appreciate you guys for being here. I will not see you guys on another podcast until after Christmas. So I hope you guys have a happy, healthy Christmas. Uh, let me know when you guys get back. Oh, fuck it. Let me know now. What are you guys going to eat? Okay, that's all I fucking, whenever my friends travel and they come back, I say, what did you eat? All I want to know about is what you motherfuckers ate. I'm always so curious. What, Dude, food is my favorite shit. Obviously, that's why I'm getting fat. My grandpa said I was getting fat the other day. He tried to he tried to make it chill. He was like, uh, "Your legs are getting big." <laughs> He's like, "Well, you been working out?" And I was like, "Nope, just getting fat." Nice, smooth, smooth one. Nice way to not be offensive. Like it could have been. <laughs> he could have turned it into like, "Oh yeah, it looks like you've been doing some squats," but nope. It was it was a hidden fat joke. Getting fat, guys. Then again, I have also been doing. Um, some workouts, man. Me and Lily did squats yesterday. I did I did two YouTube workouts on stream the other day. I'm working on it, guys. I've been doing the Dance Dance Revolution. I did it a while back. Now I'm, I'm trying to get back into it, but who knows? Um, From here, we're going to do a really short post show. I'll probably only do the post show until about, I don't know, maybe an hour. So if you guys are here, stick around. Other than that, I appreciate you guys being here. Again, don't go anywhere because the stream is not over. But uh, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, <clears throat> etc. Don't drink too much. If you're watching this live, have a great weekend. If you're watching this on Sunday or Monday, have a great work week. I will see you guys next time. Let's go ahead and play that intro. Oh, yeah. Give me a fucking hell yeah. Who do we got in here? <clears throat> Hammy of Doom, Princess Schlill, Assassination, Flawless, Rhyme, OG Mickey, Jake Gunther, Butts Bot, Moo Bot, Sheik. Hammy, Mickey, all the same names over and over again. What the fuck ever. You guys have a great night. I will see you guys next time. Let's play that motherfucking intro. Flawless Rhyme Assassination TV. Booty Whisper. Little Turtle. When I see anything that looks like chorizo, I just shoot at it.